Okay, this should be another two points in Blottinge. Welcome home. What is... Very well. Let... Okay, let's uh, see what's the difference with uh, five blood inch more. That should be the try uh, 103. That's uh, not much more damage, like 20-25 uh, per hit, well, but it's still more. Or maybe I have some uh, gem with scaling or something. Blood attack up, 12%. Hmm. Huh. Let's try it. It was hidden all the time in the blunderbuss. Oh boy. Let's see if it makes some difference. Ah, crap. It's one for the guns. It's not a droplet. Ah. Wizard attack up. Uh, more health. And more stamina. Let's try that setup.
And let's skip to uh, try 106. Uh, what? Fuck. <laughs> oh god. Let's try the beast blood pellets. Pretty sick. Can definitely do some damage if he is uh, buffing his sword to make this power attack. One bad try later, I was uh, adding the beast rune to get more out of the beast pellets. This time I will take the pallet uh, a little bit later to take the effect into the second part of the fight and try number 108. time. <laughs> okay, that was risky. Nice. 
but it was pretty good. Let's try that again. And 112. Not again! I just can't survive this combo. Try number 116. God, why I'm dodging always backwards? Always the same fail. It's fucking panic or something. Okay, try number 120. Let's see how much damage the area attack does. Maybe they can keep attacking. <laughs> okay, that's uh, not an option. And 121. Okay, let's try to dodge through the area attack. Okay, that was a fail, but... Not hmm. Okay, never mind. Still die. And a couple of tries later, I was scrolling through the gems and found this one. I have no idea how I could miss it. It's pretty perfect for the Chicago. And it's a droplet, so it uh, fits into every slot. So let's put it in. Well, it's not much, but it's definitely more damage. And uh, try number 129. Yeah, I already see a difference.
shit. Ah, come on, weapon at risk? Seriously? Ah, look at the damage. How much bad luck can I have? And try number 136 to roll ah, a little bit too soon and try number 137 
my god. Can survive this? Yes. Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> yes. <sighs> nice. Holy crap, the hardest thing I've ever killed. Okay, we got a trophy and a guidance rune. Guidance boosts rally potential. Twenty percent. Hmm, might be pretty cool. But I guess I have to test it first. All right. Oh, what's that? Good hunter, have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. Holy crap. Well, he is really insane. Um let me see if I can hit him. Uh, oops. Holy moonlight sword. <laughs> okay. Arcane attack. An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When blue moonlight dances around the sword and it channels the abyssal cosmos, its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. The holy moonlight sword is synonymous with Ludwig the holy blade, but few have ever set eyes on the great blade, and whatever guidance it has to offer, it seems to be of a very private, elusive sort. It's too bad I can't equip it, I would like to see it. 
Well, okay. Um, let's go back to the hunter's dream. Welcome. What is it? Very well. I think I'm going for blood tinge. Farewell, good mate. And let's equip the guidance rune. And let's use some cold blood to get another level. Ah, come on. Just 200 Farewell, more. Good. Welcome, what it Very well, let me... Farewell, may you find... Wait a minute, I have 99 inside. Should I buy a blood rock? It might be stupid, but I just do it. First plus ten weapon. Okay, guys, session ends here, and uh, time to sleep. And see you in the next video.